I'm turning on and off dark mode. But actually, what I want to show you guys is this really cool website made by Mahmoud Hikmet. And it's basically trying to show live COVID-19 data. So to give some context, you might have remembered that a month ago, I tried to live stream COVID-19 case and death counts on Abacaba. And I was delaying all the stats by 24 hours so that I can interpolate between them so that you could see um, individual stats going up one by one, like incrementally. But, you know, so many people complained because um, they're saying, like, news has already reported that USA has 60,000 cases. You're behind the times and that data is just not useful because it's behind. Well, what this person is doing is they are taking the last 14 days of data points for each country and their cases. And I think Mahmoud, he messaged me on Twitter saying that, you know, he liked my concept of having the live counters. But what he did was he found the closest third polynomial approximation of the last 14 days of data points and then used that to find a estimation for the stat today, right now. So you can see it says right now here. So what this means is he has the same kind of live up, update one by one feature that I had, but it's not delayed by 24 hours. So I think he gets the best of both worlds, which is really smart. And another benefit of doing it this way is that you can see that certain countries like Ecuador, they're going up really fast in cases. And I think these are ordered by how fast cases are coming in. So you might not hear that if you just go to the news or you just go to like leaderboards because, you know, the fact that many European countries like Italy and the UK, they've been at the top for so long means that you don't know who's rising really fast. I mean, when I was looking at the graph on Worldometer for Ecuador, it might be some um, like logistic delay in recording cases and it might not like actually have spiked so much in the recent times. But I think um, it's still important to see where the numbers are changing the fastest. And I think you know, you would never otherwise, like, it would take you a long time to calculate that, like, oh, the United States gets a new case every 2.67 seconds, but this helps really um, make it feel tangible. Like, you can think, like, ding, oh, someone in some state got sick, ding, oh, there's another person who got sick, ding, oh, that's another person. And obviously, it's a tragic um, situation, but it makes it more um, digestible. Like, the numbers are not just five digit, six digit numbers on a screen that you can't really comprehend. It's easy to comprehend how fast things are happening. So you can tell that in other places, things are slowing down. So you don't need to worry. Um, yeah, so I just think that, I also like the visual style of pixel art. I think it looks very clean and consistent. Um, I wonder how he did all the flags because these are definitely not just scaled down versions of the country flags. Um, they're stylized a little bit, but I just thought I'd shout it out because I really think it does have both the best of both worlds, whereas mine only had the best of one world, so it's an improvement. And so I'll put the link in the description, but in case I forget, the URL is covidloader.com, um, and it's just really cool. Oh, you can oh, you can sort over here. I didn't realize, but that answers everything for me, cases, deaths death rate. Yeah, Brazil is getting up there. Well, okay, I've been talking long enough, but I just wanted to give a shout out to something I think is cool. I need to go to bed now because it's 3 a.m. Why do I stay up so late?